What I'm going to discuss in this video is the HTML editor website builder 4. And it's a derived from Eversoft software of the um, uh, first page 2006. So if we just load it up and we get WDL website builder build responsive websites is what it's actually uh, attracted me in the beginning about this uh, web editor. And I've always loved Eversoft uh, 2006 when I used to use it, but there was quite a few bugs in it, and uh, that was a little bit of a downer. But I always did like the layout of it. I like the big icons because I don't have the best eyesight in the world. So when you actually load it up, this is what uh, what you see, the large icons at the top, and this is uh, what's called uh, easy mode. So you can either drop files here or double click new document, or you can go up the file and you open, etc., just like you can anything else. But anyway, the way I'm going to do this is just double click in here. And for many people who are used to use the HTML, this is uh, quite familiar to, to what you'll see. Uh, I just want to address one thing that um, somebody asked us the other day when I was uh, giving it a little plug is about how does it. Uh, go about validating a document uh, to do with the W3 validation. And I've got to say, basically, it's on a par probably with most um, most HTML editors I've used. And that's pretty average, to be honest. So what you would have to do with that is you just go into Tools, and it's uh, Tidy HTML, HTML Quick Tools, uh, apply source, formatting, upgrading, etc. And uh, check your document accessibility. And to be quite honest, it's basically, you might as well just go on the actual validation site itself because they have the HTML tidy. Uh, also, this it doesn't include HTML5. However, the validation site is only an experimental in HTML5. So it's personal choice. For me, it isn't a deal breaker. It's uh, I, I only uh, I only check to see how close I am with it. I don't. I'm not strict unless somebody asks for it to be done. Um, however, uh, everybody's different, and uh, we'll come out of there and we'll go through a few things that's quite interesting about this. Uh, as most people who have used these type of things, the most important. Um, is insert and this is where you anchor links your emails your comments forms image advanced image quickly image map is something i wouldn't really recommend uh with responsive design uh i've tried i've tried actually with uh, some experiments which you've totally failed uh but it's if something if it's a really old thing and i think that's probably a carry on from eversoft uh, 2006 um you've got your horizontal line rule which is something i love cascading style sheets which you can just add them and lots of other things uh also if i just pop out of there and a lot of these can be found here on the icons they anchor the fonts and there's a whole range of them here a lot of people uh, like me would be just designing them in uh, CSS though. Uh, with your page, you've got that, which is not something I would use too much. Tables. Uh, well, a lot of people are not using tables and certainly not for layout at the moment. So image, insert image quickly, etc., which is a very handy thing that. Um, I've been using this for a few months now in the beta version. And I must say, I'm really impressed by it. It's, it's really one of the best HTML editors I've used, and I've used quite a few. The scripts is, generally speaking, DHTML. So some of them will be not work on every browser. Um, some of them are still, I think, a good fun to have. Um, but I usually do my own anyway. So uh, that's still, still something, though. Um, this extras is line break, non break, and space and paragraph, which is uh, quite important. And you've got your spell checker and your preview, 
uh, of your site. I've got chroming up with there. And it's it's just basically what many would see this uh, on the left side here. You've got uh, your folders uh, and that. Uh, also, you have um, things like code. And I know that's all in uppercase. But um, yeah, so there is some things that do have an overlap with the uh, 2006 first page. But there's still some very, very interesting things um, going on in this editor, which I would, uh, I would tell people, why don't you have a go and see what you think? Now, the thing that is really, really attractive about this is this, and that is if we go up to File, a New Responsive Layout. So it's got the famous Bootstrap, and Foundation, and Skeleton. Now, if you put the Bootstrap in, uh, you just pop that in there, and you can just put it where you want really so here we are and it has uh, it has five HTML uh, documents there and uh, I'll just zoom in there and uh, this is uh, basically what it is so I'll just load them up or load a couple up so you've got the bootstrap 5 and this is what it looks like when it when it arrives at web page not found it's because what that is is because i uh, i haven't actually put it in a in a folder that it really needs so um i just just try that again see if that works no um yeah, I'm going to have to do that uh, at some point. And um, what I've done over the last few months is um, I've done a lot of editing in this in this uh, in this software. Um, but what I haven't done is I haven't built a site from scratch. But I'm in the middle of it, or I've started a Bootstrap one, and I'm gonna gonna go through that, and I'm gonna put up a video of the stages and, and where I've gotten with it. So that will be. Uh, that's something I hope to do. Uh, also, if um, you got foundation, de deploy the foundation, responsive framework, as it says there, will be copied to a folder of your choosing. We re re recommend choosing a brand new empty folder. And so I'll say, okay. Uh, and I'm just gonna come out of there and I'm going to put a one on the desktop so I just got a new folder. I'm just going to put in a bootstrap. Okay, so I'll just pop that. So that's, that's okay. So this, uh, I'll do that all again. And put bootstrap deploy. And we'll try to find that so now i've added um, the uh, files to this bootstrap um folder here and if we just open that up this is what we what we see so if we go back to the um html editor and we'll just preview uh this is bootstrap index 5 so that's that one so if we just preview that one in Chrome, and this is what it looks like. So there you are, that's the responsive uh, that many people will know about if they use uh, Bootstrap. So if you just like go like this with your browser, you can see that it, it is a responsive design. So this is the template or one of the templates they have. And, um, I'm using, I think it's number four for a, uh, one that I'm uh, I'm doing at the moment. Uh, so I hope to do a video on that and from all the way from the start to the finish of the design. Uh, so it's really an experiment for me as well. So this is Bootstrap 4, well, Bootstrap Index 4. And we'll put that on as Chrome. So this is another one. 
And again, this is like a marketing one with uh, email, password, and sign in. Um, you have the drop down menu there as well, and also uh, other things. Again, that's of course responsive. All these are responsive, and that is something that we all need to always look at when we're building these sites. So, in preview, I'll do an opera, and it should look something similar when Opera decides to work, but it doesn't, so oh, it is, yeah, come on, Damn. so slow, I don't know what all that is, anyway, that's what it looks like in, uh, in Opera 2, and you get your responsiveness there. So that's basically um, an overview of the program. Um, I hope uh, that you've uh, that maybe learned something. Maybe you would like to give that a try. And it's uh, it, there's so much more to it than, than what I've, I've uh, described there. But um, that's basically the, the main things about it. And the idea of have an responsiveness actually in an HTML browser. I'm not really sure of any others that do that. Um, I could be wrong, but um, yeah. So uh, thanks for listening and thanks for watching.